Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario Thousand Year Door Episode 4. People better be waking up now. Whoa, 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 you brought the key? Yes, oh man, oh you big. Black key. Yes, thank. Ha, huh, thank nothing. Wee! <laughs> Bitches. Fools! Dun, dun, dun. Oh god. Oh boy, did you fall for I burned you. What, you think I was gonna help you? Sit, I'm gonna spread a little sulfur and I didn't do it in that super box. Yeah, sorry. With those bricks, I'm gonna cast the evil terrible curse on you. Boogly boogly woo, you're cursed. Cursed. Torment. Oh, yeah. We trembling at suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. We hee <laughs> Oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. This curse is pretty rough, I guess. So I suppose I owe it to you. Explain. Ready if you stand on an airplane panel like this when the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, we're on the panel. Now try pressing Y, and then bam, you're a paper airplane. Yep. The worst part of the curse is that you must tilt left and right to control yourself. I zoned out. What was that? Yes, I get it. It's terrible. We press B and you might return to normal. Maybe. Oh, it's comedic because they put it as something bad, yet it's part of a necessary part of gameplay. Not really. It's not funny at all. Oh, well. It's very simple to control. There's no skill to it. And now we're at the door. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That. Oh, Mario, look at that. Yep. Okay, let's go to the door. Um, was there... There's something over this way, isn't it? No. Over to the save point. Let's save the game. Yay. Why does I have to talk? Let's yeah, go on the pedestal. Mm hmm. Very interesting. Professor, what's going on? See, why? Really? Does every Mario game. Have to have something to do with stars. Really? Really? I get it. They're stars. They're magical. But I'm not sure. Now, don't quote me on this. But so far, every Mario RPG game has had a stars as the main plot to collect. Cause I can't think of anything new. Mario RPG. Legend of the Seven Stars, or something like that. Paper Mario, you just collect all star spirits. This one, you collect crystal stars. I'm not sure if you collect crystal stars or any kind of star in Super Paper Mario. Never want to play that game again. Never. Hmm. It appears that information related to the collection of the crystal stars appeared. And the shiny knight looks like it was giving Mario. Yes, you, Mario has star power. Like he did in the first one. I really never realized that... This game pretty much is an exact... Like, the first half... Like, three levels of the game is pretty much exactly like the first Paper Mario. You understand it, Professor? I do, of course I do. Firstly, about that light three-star shiny of Mario. Yes, the special move. A special move? Yes, well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Nope. Nope. Uh, yep, we're going to Petal Meadows. It is so not like Koopa Village. You think it's Koopa Village? No, it's not Koopa Village. It's not. I'm telling you right now, it's not Koopa Village. Or if that's what it's called. I'm not even sure if the first game was called Koopa Village. Koopa Town. 
This Prince of Peach, this will be her and is how is that like it's supposed to be a speech bubble? And yet it's so it's picture. That's stupid. So it is her Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasures. I told her about the suspicions about Petal's Metal Meadows. You know, Professor, there's another specific group asking you the same thing. Yes, they got Peach. Oh god, spoilers, sorry. No, he's gonna stick around. Oh, Mario, we're off. Okay. Oh, yeah. A badge. Power smash is good. No, I don't. No. Yes, I know how to equip a badge. It's very simple. Go to here. There we go. We're gonna fight the mini boss now. I can take you. I said it's not very he's not very hard. He does have a lot of health though, so I will tattle him. He has like 30 health and that's a lot compared to this game. Um her ta sir stylist right here, just push eight as soon as you hit like tattle him. Oh no, he has twenty. Yeah, wait till you get the badge afterwards, because power smash makes this a hell of a lot easier. And then you have sweet tweet or sweet treat. Oh, bitch. Mm, I don't think I can do anything to him. So I'll just defend. Because the way he has his spear makes him invulnerable to jump attacks. It's so unnecessary to do that. But still, it's pretty fun. Okay. You don't want to get the poisons on those. Alright. Defend again, I guess. She can't do shit. Oh, damn. Out of flower power. Yep. Come on. Be a defensive wall, Goombella. Protect your master. Bitch. Huh? That hurt. Yeah, he's telling you to run or to freaking get a game or you're going to die. Uh, how much life do you have left? Meh. I shall risk it. Especially since he keeps it in the Bella. Good old offensive wall. Uh, if only I had my power smash, he would be dead right now. Do do do. Fairly simple stuff here. And you get a, a good amount of star points if you get them early in the game. If you wait till later, then yeah, it'll be kind of lame. You won't get as much. I think you get like 30 or 40, somewhere around there. Never mind, I'm rolling again. 22. <laughs> Video game violence. Okay, now we're in this place. That place. We can't do nothing here. There's a treasure down there. Can't get to it. Um. Alright, I guess this is a good stopping point. Just fought a mini boss, so I will heal. And then see you guys next time. So, later.